Ocean Diary. Today she is slim, sinuous. Today she wears her grey scrim of whispers, fold upon fold, rolling to the wind, then falling beyond herself, beyond horizons, surging to embrace, then merging with cloud in sullen distance. He stands rough clad, rough with pebbles and the stench of diesel, drenched by the curse of waves, listening for the slow chug of an approaching engine, hears at last the crunch of keel on shingle, watches as the winch kicks into life, dragging the boat up against the friction of the beach to unload the day's catch. Something about her light, her dazzling surface, the play of waves inviting. Why does he no longer come to swim in her? Missing the stroke of his arms, the strength of him, the breath and push of him against her. Playfully she would yield and pull him deep within her, challenge him with wave and vortex, show him his death, then lift him to the status of a god to be her equal. Why does he no longer come? Today she sits in her chair of bright water to receive the guests that come along the shore, wearing their samba whites, singing madrigals, bearing baskets of lilacs and roses to send like boats upon her waves, flowers taken by the sea, and she will heal you and she will bring you fortune, flowers thrown back to the land, and you must wait for another tide. Then a ship passes, leaving a trail of paper money in its wake, and we watch from the shore as a gold ring is cast down into her darkness. Come closer, and I'll tell you of a city that wanted to marry the sea. Do not ask if she will change. She will change, and that is so. And the evening sunlight touches her with shadows, as waves spread cloth of sunset orange on the sand and the first stars appear. Now black can no longer be distinguished from white. You no longer feel the sand that runs through you, nor remember how you used to measure days. The possible and impossible dance before you in the half-light. Within you truth and untruth spin. The gate is open. The world is yours to choose, to imagine, to create. And then the moon, a cautious sliver against the first stars, and night makes all clear. The next morning, pulling the mist close round her, keeping gulls and cormorants waiting, the slow heaving of ocean hips, ocean belly under sheets of light. Today she wears the white grief of seabirds, she has not forgotten those who drowned in her, their reasons for drowning, why they left the certainty of land to wander with whales and gulls the dark swells of some inner ocean, to return perhaps with tales and tokens, or never to return, and sleek white wings skim over the poet's bones, his beached, sun-bleached, air-dried bones, in supplication. She holds such memories in soft, rich mud, scales and fingers, vertebrae and shells. This is where we will return, debris, unmarked, all lines and edges gone from us. This is where we will fall, when we can swim no longer among the shattered claws of the unmaking. Here weave a myriad shoals through labyrinths of kelp and coral, her indigo deep where swim her children, mouths agape with hunger. Eyeless we feed on what has sunk, on what has been forgotten. Before there were eyes, I knew you by your scent the slow heft of fins, the ripples as you move, your undertow. 
I sense you also by your silence, the presence of your mind, the wordless need in you. At this depth and pressure of being, mind projected through a cold, hard lens, dreams that bubble to the surface, disturbing the order of your waking hours. At this depth and pressure of being, where currents move, where eyes are born, where poems are made. To you who have never seen the sea, who have never followed the river down, never turned with the river's grey-brown turns to where it meets the magnitude of ocean, who have never known before her endless tides, her moons and lightnings, who have never lived the immobility of days waiting for a wind, who have never ridden her swell and drop, mile after mile, leaving you like flotsam on another world. Know that she is there within you, wild and distant, ancestor of all that changes, 